Hello everyone, this is Ian Ormus with Tech Defense, and today on Tech Tip episode 17, we're going to talk about what web, the web application scanner. Alright everyone, so uh, as I said in the intro, today we're going to talk about what web. Uh, what web is uh, a nice little web scanning utility, it's very flexible, that's why I like it so much, um, and it allows for you know, various degrees of aggression uh, while scanning. Um, the version I'm using is 0.4.8, which is uh, the default with Batrack uh, 5 R3. Uh, this is created by Andrew Horton oh, from securityassessment.com. His homepage is morningstarsecurity.com. Um, so check out his stuff. Uh, but before getting into what, what web is and how to use it and such, I just want to give a thanks out to all of you who have uh, been following me recently. Uh, on Twitter and also uh, on YouTube, I just reached the you know the hundred followers mark on YouTube, uh, which may not seem like a lot, but it is definitely awesome. Uh, considering you know I, I just started this, geez, not too long ago, and it was all um, you know with the intentions of teaching my coworkers some of the things that I was doing. Um, so it's it's great to see that other people are enjoying this as well. But uh, let's get that out of the way, or with that out of the way now, let's, let's talk about what web. Uh, today is going to be a, a quick episode, by the way, um, and I'm just going to do a quick demo of what, what web is and how to use it. <clears throat> so again, uh, the reason I like this tool so much is because of how flexible it is, and just to show you some of the options we're working with here, let's make this a little larger. That's probably too large. We'll go with that for now. All right. So uh, let me navigate to where this is, and I believe that is pen test, enumeration, and then web. Yes. All right. So web, and here is uh, the directory that it lives in. So you'll notice that uh, yes, we have the the script to run the uh, the executable the uh, what web. But in addition, it also has a lot of plug uh, plugins and add-ons. Um, there really hasn't been a whole lot of activity with these plugins over the last year. Um, but hopefully, you know, it, it picks up as people uh, use this product or this uh, tool more often. So just to give you an idea of what what web is, here are some of the options that we're working with. Okay. So uh, again, 0.4.8, Andrew Horton. But let's get to the actual uh, usage, which I kind of outline, uh, outline over here as well. But um, what we're working with here is, uh, you know, first you're going to check, you're going to choose your target, right? Um, and this gives you a bunch of ways to uh, enter your target in here. So of course you can just flat out put uh, a web address in here. Um, but you could also input a file of URLs you know, from wherever you had URLs, uh, a list of URLs. In addition to that, if there is something you want to do to manipulate that file of URLs, say you wanted uh, to add an admin dot uh, prefix to all those URLs um, or something along those lines, you could do that with this command. Um, so a lot of flexibility on, on how you can do uh, the target input. And I mentioned previously you can do uh, you know, different levels of aggression. Uh, so one being the most passive, four being the most aggressive. Uh, one, as it explains here, will only make one HTTP request per target, uh, not including redirects. Uh, two isn't currently utilized. Three will load um, on plugins that it, that it matches. It'll then try to um, do some more aggressive scanning with those plugins that it matched. And for it's just like, I'm going to scan as heavy as I can with everything. Um, yeah. So uh, moving on from there, we have HTTP options next. Uh, here, obviously, we can set our user agent if we want our user agent to look like a specific thing. Uh, if you do not set it, it will show up as what web. Um, you could also do some basic authentication with this command. 
Uh, you can add some stuff to the header if you want. You can tell whether you want to follow redirects and how many redirects you want to follow. Additionally, you can set proxy settings. Um, or you could just run this with proxy chains, uh, which we did a you know, previous episode on. Uh, and definitely uh, one of the better features here is the plugins, right? Um, a, a tool like this is only as good as the extra plugins it has running in it. So uh, you can choose specific plugins. Um, and you could also uh, you know, choose specific Google Dorks if you wanted to as well. If you had a custom plugin you wrote, you could uh, obviously put it in here uh, as such. Um, and then we have our uh, logging and output. Logging and output lets us uh, send the output of this data to numerous uh, different destinations. So again, this is why this tool is so awesome is because I can do pretty much anything I want with it. Um, if I want to send it to XML, I can. If I want to send it to a SQL database, here we go. Uh, there's a lot of options. We have some performance options as well. So if you want to set the number of threads, uh, by default it's 25. If you want to set that lower, if your machine couldn't handle you know, 25 threads at once, by all means go ahead. You can set timeouts if you'd like as well. And there's some debug uh, information as well. So let's go ahead and clear this out and uh, let's talk about some of the options. So um, that slash what web tech L is going to give me a list of all the plugins that are available. So as you can see, there's 1,400-ish uh, plugins available um, that target various different web applications and services. Uh, so as you can see, there, there's a ton in here. Just for identifying what web applications are and then uh, finding vulnerabilities within those web applications. There you go, there's all of them. Um, and of course, you can create your own as well. Great. So just to show you an example of running, uh, you know, by default, if I add no options, just give it a URL. Let's do techdefense.com. What is it going to give me? All right. So by default, it's going to give me some basic information about techdefense.com uh, based on what it could find um, through some basic plugins. So it's going to give me my IP. It's going to give me what headers are associated with it. Um, if it redirected, it would let you know country code, um, the server that it's uh, hosted on. And then it's going to give you some information about some plugins it detected from its basic list. So it knows I'm using uh, Lightbox, I'm using Google Analytics. Um, it sees that I'm also embedding YouTube videos, so it's going to list that out and knows who my uh, hosting provider is. And then additionally, it's going to do um, some email scraping real quick on the front page, whatever URL it hit. Um, to pull out email addresses that may be associated with this site. So obviously, enormous at techdefense.com is my email address. Um, and these other ones you guys may recognize from the um, Are You Feeling Lucky article I wrote uh, last week. So these are email addresses from that. So this is good. It gives us a little bit of information. Um, it's kind of hard to read, but it gives us something to work with, right? Uh, this by itself would be enough to use the tool. But let's see what happens once I throw on the verbose option. Okay, So now it's going to give us a little bit more about the things that it detected. All right, so it's showing us, all right, hey, scan for cookies. This is what it found. Scan for a country code based off of my GOIP. Is using this to determine my GOIP as uh, United States based. Extract some emails. And they're using a particular regex to grab my emails out of there. And you can see, you know, so on and so forth. Uh, you know, it, it found out I'm using Squarespace as my hosting provider. 
So it gives you a nice little description of what that is if you haven't seen Squarespace before. Um, and of course, if it had any known vulnerabilities, you would know about that as well. So that's the verbose setting. It breaks it out in a, in a format that's a little easier to read. Um, now, additionally, we talked about aggression levels earlier, and this will probably be the last one I show you here. Um, so if I do uh, you know, attack V again, because I want to see it log uh, everything, and I give it attack A for aggression, and uh, if I did four, it's going to try everything. If I do three, it's going to try things based on the plugins that it finds. So I'm just going to have it try everything, and uh, we'll have it do it against um, security tube. So security tube.net, and let it go. So as you can see, it's going to try to guess a bunch of URLs um, based on vulnerabilities it's trying to find. It does it much in the way that uh, Nikto does. Um, and as we saw Nikto when I, I did that video, she's uh, probably three or four months ago on using Nikto with IPv6. But it does pretty much the same thing. The plugins are very similar to what you see in Nikto as well, with a few extra ones thrown in there. Um, so it's going to keep going through. All right, three OTs aren't anything to be worried about. You know, if you see a 200 next to something that uh, you know is like this, then maybe I'd want to pay attention to it. But I don't see anything uh, too crazy yet from Security Tube. So what I'm going to do is uh, this is going to take a little bit to run. I'm going to go ahead and pause, and once it's done, I'll resume the video. All right, so now we're back. It has run on the aggressive scan against Security Tube and come up with uh, you know varying results. Uh, most of these I went through and looked at the ones that are the 200 uh, for here and there's a couple ones that looked like they could be something but there are false positives um, which kind of plague this uh, web scanner um, you know, tool sets like this. Nikto has the same issue, a lot of false positives there. Um, but occasionally you're gonna you're gonna get a big win as well. So uh, that is the tool Web. It's a very flexible tool. Allows you to uh, do some really cool stuff with scanning, um, especially if you want to create your own plugins to do some particular uh, scans as well. Uh, maybe I'll cover that in a uh, further video if that's what you guys would like to see. Um, I guess I can pull that out of there since that was from a different video. Um, like always, you can hit me up at techdefense.com. My email address there is enormous at techdefense.com. That is 1-A-N-0-R-M-U-S at techdefense.com. Uh, you can also see more videos like this at SecurityTube and my YouTube channel. Um, and additionally, I'll, I'll try to be more active on the Twitter, uh, on Twitter and, and such as well. So feel free to follow me there. Uh, all the links, of course, are on techdefense.com. So thanks for checking it out, and I'll talk to you guys later.